Maybe not least. on Rack. I've definitely seen him play Quorum before. I don't know if it was Rack or not, though. Might have been a friendly. I don't think he ever played it in like a real, yeah, a real match in Smash 4. Yeah. He just played it for friendly. Like, but Lucina's here to play versus... Oh, the, the names are reversed. Raven King is on the Ike. Earl Vem on that Lucina. And these Fire Emblem versus Fire Emblem matchups are always so wacky because the all the offstage and ledge trap gameplay can just be crazy weird. Oh, things yeah. like counters back and forth, things like two frames with the Ike eruption, and you're, you're gonna see this just patient gameplay. Maybe even go for a down air on the ledge. We've seen that poke through the ledge before, but wow! Yep. As I'm talking about the ledge trap gameplay, it's just combos for Raven King all the way down and all the way up to the top of stadium. I mean, when you're playing against just Ike, Raven King, you need to be really careful about the platforms because that's like where they kind of thrive. Um, they're able to, I mean, like, relatively early there about combo off of platforms uh, super well. And you want to, I feel like, just kind of get him off stage and then try to figure out how he's going to recover. Um, stuff it out with, like, either your counter if he's going to go for an up B. Even, like, side B, you can kind of do your counter, too, if you, like, run off stage a little bit. Um, it's all about the timing, though, figuring that out. But right now, Raven King is kind of just, like, going all over him. Really good weight there, but not... Oh! We not. thought the weight was good, but Raven King waited right back. Raven so good at, like, just getting that. I mean, like, on any character who doesn't snap ledge instantly, you're gonna get that for free if you're... I mean, especially Raven King. He's so good at getting that. Yep. And there's that counter he mentioned, and no, it's actually just gonna clean kill. I think that Raven King, like, knew he wasn't gonna get back just because of, like, maybe the combo player that Earl is, which is, like, big counter or whatever, but... Just like yeah, that, really... He, he might have DI'd that to get to the next stock. Yeah. <laughs> not necessarily an SD, but just, like, okay, I'm not making it back anyway. Let's just keep moving. I'm surprised I didn't see the counter by Earl. Like, if you get out of that, like, you kind of figure out where he's gonna go, but... That jab on the platform broke oh, up a ton really? of pressure here for Raven King, but now he dips low again! Ooh, that was really scary. For both sides. That was spooky. Really good falling to the platform up here. Sometimes I feel like Lucina can struggle about getting down, especially against, like, a sorty like Ike, um, who just has a huge hitbox that can out. Case away. Yep. That's huge! That dip so low below the stage. There is nowhere to go for Lucina. She had I mean, one I like, angle. I like what Earl's doing though. He's like trying to stall as long as possible. I mean like, obviously there's no way to stall it out longer, I guess. Mm -hmm. He can maybe put like air dodge up or something like that, then like side beat, then jump, then up beat. But like, I'm not sure in that situation, I'm not gonna lie. Well, if you air dodge, like, you're talking about directional air dodge immediately, sort of like crumb? Pop, I mean, closer to the ground or, like, just off. It, I don't really know, honestly, with, um, in that situation, at least. Because Lucina has enough time, like, if you air dodge up, you can still jump and up B, like, from super low. So I'm just trying to figure oh, out. Oh, air dodge up. Yeah, like, up. up. Okay. When he, if you see him charging it, like, you obviously have to try to get back there. But maybe air dodge up or to ledge somehow? I don't know. But what a counter I like this, um, a lot. You don't want to go to battle building against, uh, Raven King, even if you're, like, our Lucina. Uh huh. Because you're just gonna get combo wombo with the platforms and have one there. Yeah, Battlefield and Yoshi's story, I think, are definitely out. Ooh. Oh! Finds the ledge somehow. Perfect angle on that Aether recovery. I love seeing Raven King just up the out of shield. You see, I mean, Crumbs do it all the time. So it's really good to see, like, like basically the same, actually the same up i mm. um, just do it too. And I don't know if the percents are the same off the top of my head, but it does a nice, like, 20. I have 4% or 22%. I don't think it does 26, which is how much crown. Yeah, was, it's like maybe 2 or 3% less, something like that, but... There's not a very different game, though. Um, girl being a bit more... I don't say aggressive, but just reading a bit more Raven King's movements and taking the lead by some percent. But as I say that... Yeah, you mess up the spacing one time and that lets the Nair stick out for just a minute, like a minuscule frame. That's enough Nair. to take the stock, but you know what? Nair, patience on the ledge trap. We'll finish this up for Earl as well. I was saying, oh, you got in there? So do I. There's not the kill move. Oh, my. Oh, that almost worked! Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think you need to run off stage if your Earl don't, do you? Because your counter will hit below ledge, I think. In that situation. It looked like, um... Well, the problem is we saw that the armor sticks out a little bit on the top oh, okay. for, for Raven King, don't forget. And you want to get that counter as low as possible because then it'll interrupt the armor with the invulnerability, so... Kind of a weird game of angles on where you exactly want to counter the Aether. And there you go, the air dodge up worked as a stall in an yeah. interesting situation there. It looked like I think the air dodge was meant to grab the platform, yeah. but it worked out anyway. Good wait.
I like that really good for the downers too. Like if we if you like rewatch a lot of the sets of like versus Mysterica, he he gets with a lot the downers. Um, he has like characters like Zelda and Palu who like have a teleport, so like it's a super weird timing too for that. Mm -hmm. So I like seeing him go for those. Oh, yep. I love the platform there. Yep. The teleport recoveries though, they are very easy to poke up at the top, like yeah. two frame them. So that, that's where Raven King can get the advantage there. And that was a really nifty mix up on the recovery, but not fooled at all was Raven King and not fooled on that shield is Earl. Even game. Things are going to slow down a little bit for Earl as he tries to uh, collect himself, but he just hit once or twice by this Ike, right? Yeah. 48%. These guys just take, I mean, Ike places. Like, you can do whoever you want out of there, pretty much. It's crazy. Oh, and try to snipe a double jump there on that side platform. I like it from Earl of M as he turns the situation around, and you see him just controlling the stage now, but if you mess up for one second, and you take that damage. Fit in there, dude. Well, that was a very scary situation where a tech chase could have led to death. Dude, like, if you're earlier, can't you try to, like, if you see he's gonna go for the up B, or side B, like, you know he's gonna go for ledge, you can try to do something about that, I feel like, besides this down tilt thing. The timing is really tricky on the quick draw. Is that what you're talking about, the quick yeah. draw? Yeah. It's tricky. You have to be so precise, and you just gotta know, like, if he's gonna go high or if he's gonna go to the ledge, and yeah. that's tough. I don't think that you're gonna make it back. No, sir. Just in case those magnet hands made it, the eruption was perfectly timed. And that's still like the hardest thing to time, like you don't just know how to, like, you don't just pick up I can just do that. Like that's like, you have to know when to release that because magnet hands and like just mm. two frames. You're gonna have to know how to time that. So it just kind of shows the caliber player that uh, Raven King is and like the understanding of his character. Like he's been playing since Smash 4. Like he, he's been playing I think from the start of Smash 4, maybe even Brawl I wanna say. I don't know if he was a Brawl player or Raven not, King, uh, I don't think he necessarily start. Like he started coming out to all the stuff in Smash Four. Casual brawl, okay. But he plays all the games. Like he plays melee. He plays yeah. P plus. He plays everything. Yo, P plus is sick. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. My roommate talks about it a lot. How he likes his Squirtle. But I like Wolf. But we're not talking about P plus. This is not P plus, or is it? No, this is a uh, Smash Four plus. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's a port, man. Duh. <laughs> All right, the down smash was nice just to catch any of that drift. Make sure you get damage. It wasn't like maximum damage. Yeah. You probably could have like tried to catch drift with a nair if you wanted to get something, but you have to be precise with that. So down smash makes a lot of sense there. I like it. Really good fourth smash there. See, you have to be exactly precise on challenging the quick draw. He was a, a little bit early on the timing, and that has cost him the stage. Just like that resetting neutral so quickly. Oh, he got the read on the roll. <laughs> Did that... Okay. I'm shocked that he lifted that up there. That was very good DI from Earl of M. Is he out of the Nair Protector Earl or no? I'm not really sure, but... Uptil, He's not out of the Uptil nah. That quick draw just to cover as much space as fast as possible was so slick from Raven King. He's like, I need to get in your face right now and catch this landing. You're not going to expect me to have burst movement with Ike. Yeah, that's actually like a weird thing about like you don't think about like I guess like a quick movement, but yeah. like quick draw definitely can do that, yeah. Four throw, yep. Good air dodge. Wait out that final destination portion of the stage and get a couple of platforms here and it's gonna help you mix up these nares. That's like no end back to the quick draw, I felt like. You kinda really did it, but up tilt gonna find the thing to stack up 169. It does not have nearly as much end lag as it has had in previous yeah. Smash games. Earl's just kind of commanding the uh, stage right now, but as I say that... He's, he's dead now, he has no jump. Now he's fine. Oh, that's who you're talking about? Okay. Yeah. Upwards air dodge. But like, if you see him charging like eruption too, like you upwards air dodge, you side B like he was in the before, then you wait even longer. Because I feel like whenever he was dying to it, um, when he was stalling, it was like always like the last minute stuff, like the last second, so being able just to stall that out was really good. platform comes just in time to aid Earl in this recovery of the stage, but Raven King actually, I think, missed the spot. Oh! 
I think he missed his spacing on that ledge by just a little bit. You saw that he was like, that Raven King wasn't yeah. quite on the ledge. And I think that means he had to charge it fully in order for it to even reach. But you know what? Again, that side platform saved Earl's Bacon. Sure. And we're back to one stock apiece in game three. Raven King looking for another 3 0 to send himself the winner's final. That'd be it. Quick draw. Okay, air dodge. Not able to get it, yeah. Good stuff. To Earl, kind of just like getting the first game. But now you have to win two more games on Raven King's counter picks. Yeah, we're gonna see some tri plats, I think. Or we're gonna see Smashville. Those are those are the counter picks we tend to see for Raven King here. I think I, I think if you're Earl, because you get two bands, right? Yeah, so if you're Earl, you probably wanna not I feel like you just don't wanna go Battlefield or Yoshi. Definitely not Yoshi's. Maybe Battlefield 2 then, I don't know. We will see though. Um uh, I Yo okay. I don't. Earl Earl is confident on Yoshi's. Like you have to be confident and you have to have a character that kills okay, Roy is Roy. a character that certainly kills pretty early oh, yeah. up the sides on this stage. Something that's gonna be um If you're playing a character that kills vertically, you're not gonna be in for a good time on Yoshi's story. But if you play a character that kills to the left or to the right, you can just go to town and look at Roy start this off. Forty-four percent. I like the uh, the counter pick. And that I think Yoshi's story might be the reason why this isn't crumb. Yeah. <laughs> I think if uh, uh, Raven King landed on the top platform, he might be able to do some like possible killing even. Uh, oh, probably landed on the platform down in air into up there or something. I wonder how hard it is for Raven King to get his eruption on the stage actually. Um, because of like, the little slope there. Yeah, I, I also wonder that. That's, that's an interesting question. We saw the uh, the Nair to up air kill, like, hit on this right platform. Yeah. And it didn't kill Roy at about, like, 107 after the hit or something. And that is what I'm talking about in Yoshi's story, yeah. where the, the verticality is nerfed a little bit, but horizontally, you are super dead. Even oh, though that, yeah. that F-Tolt would have killed, like, 30% ago on this stage. Really? And look at that, dude! <laughs> Even Raven King in the camera is just like, jeez! Some really quick percent from, uh... Oh, I like that a lot. Missed the sweet spot. But it was cute. Yep. Turn around counter. Where's Randall? <laughs> and you know, Krom might have made it back from that. Uh, if you... Possibly, actually, yeah. I get an up of his own. That was a goofy up B. He went like behind Ike. Uh oh. Yep. Okay. Goofy game. Goofy game, but wacky. you know what? Wacky game! Wacky game. We'll bring back wacky. <laughs> <laughs> Raven King moves on 3 1. So now we have um, then Yumi versus Raven King in Winner's Finals. Or, uh, yeah, Winner's Finals. The game King of one. Battle. The oh, King what? Battle. <laughs> Well, you, me. Yeah, Josh can get yeah, sure. Game and Watch versus Ike. That's pretty exciting to see, I feel like. Like, like two characters, like, I feel like they're just not really. I mean, Game and Watch is kind of, but, like, you only really see Meister play him.